We got this one talking about Bill Cosby took his obsessions out on his daughter Lisa Bonet on the TV show. Man, this one crazy. Let's get it. What did Cosby do to the teenage girl that he hired to play his daughter? It's very scary. Bill Cosby disguised himself as America's favorite dad, but he was a master manipulator. When Lisa fell pregnant, he was furious, punishing her. And then she disappeared. What have you been doing? You've been missing. We traced Cosby's twisted obsession with Lisa back to his own daughter. I was young. I was scared. His kink is about control. Now, over 25 years later, we finally know what Cosby really did to his daughters. Yeah, you guys, I'm married. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Bro, they, they, this better not be not fabricated. Let's keep going. Too happy for me? She secreted to me that she was actually pregnant. She had married Lenny Kravitz. I guess Bill had his feelings about that because he was possessive in a way. I mean, they were his on-camera wife and children, but they still were his. When Lisa got pregnant with Zoe, it should have been the happiest moment of her life. But she was terrified of Cosby's reaction. He said, what is it? And I said, well, we have some things that we want to tell you. Are you pregnant? He says, you know what, Debbie? No. Denise Huxtable is not pregnant. Lisa Bonet is pregnant, not Denise. Cosby was Lisa's only father figure at the time. And she had no idea this would be the beginning of the end of their relationship. Since she was a teenager, he had been obsessed with controlling her and her image. And her getting pregnant wasn't part of his plan. Lisa was Cosby's second chance at having a successful family. Her character, Denise, was inspired by his own daughter, Erin. And when you see them side by side, the similarities are obvious. While Cosby was playing the perfect dad on TV with Lisa, he publicly shamed Aaron in an LA Times article saying, Right now we're estranged. She can't come here. She's not a person you can trust. I think that she's a child. She never finishes anything. Developmentally, she's still around 11 years old. But what he didn't say was that a couple of months before the article was released, Aaron had been assaulted by famous boxer Mike Tyson, and he'd helped cover it up. Aaron Cosby tells her parents what happened with Mike Tyson, and her father... So Aaron Cosby was with Mike Tyson. And, I mean, we all know that Mike Tyson, you know, what he did with women. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, man, it's crazy. Dissuades his daughter from reporting this to the police. Cosby reportedly stopped the story of Aaron and Tyson from getting published. But three years later, Aaron came forward, revealing to the world what really happened. Did he hit you? No, he didn't hit me. He held you down? Yeah. Touching you in very private places? Why didn't you choose to press charges? I was young and I, I was scared. I felt my parents would handle it the best they could. Instead of protecting his own daughter, Cosby suggested to Tyson that he go to therapy. He minimized Mike Tyson's responsibility. He knew that he was doing the very same things to other women. Supporting Mike Tyson was a way of protecting himself. But it only made things worse for Aaron. Dreams, reoccurrences, um, even when I saw him in the nightclub two weeks later, I mean, that scared me to death. Cosby's relationship with his daughter was a total failure. Cosby may have thought he could rewrite his daughter the way he wanted her, but Lisa and Aaron had more in common than he bargained for. But as she got older, their relationship started to change. Lisa fell madly in love with 21-year-old musician Lenny Kravitz, but Cosby was not pleased with her decision to date a rock star. Bonet was one of the ones who kept pushing his buttons, showing up late, sometimes not showing up at all, and this was not cool with him. She was a very strong-willed young woman, and to her credit, she didn't let herself be pushed around. When Lisa got her first ever movie role, she knew she had to get his approval. I definitely knew it was going to conflict with my what people are used to seeing me as, which is, you know, a whole, wholesome 17-year-old uh, Huxtable. I had gone to Bill and, you know, said, this is what I'm going to be doing and I'd like your permission or your consent. And um, he had given it to me. But when the movie came out, it became the talk of the town for its grab. Man, it's crazy. I mean, I do get it, like, when you basically on the TV show as 
the staple father, you're a doctor, your wife a lawyer, and you trying to promote for our community specifically, and it's like, I mean, she not really messing it up because she's still living her own life. The TV show is not real. It's just an impressionable situation for us in our community. So that's basically what the show will represent to give a better impression of us as a people. But that still doesn't negate the fact that Everybody on the show still have their own personal lives. So, I mean, I get it that she had to go and ask him for permission. I mean, like I said, I get it. I'm a father. But at the same time, it's like she still got to live her own life. I'm just saying. You, know, you see. Sex scenes and poor reviews. They simulated making love for hours and hours with buckets of fake blood being poured all over them and all over the room. And to make matters worse, Cosby blasted it in public and tightened his grip on Lisa. The Angel Heart Scandal, why Mickey Rourke and Lisa Bonet's voodoo sex bedeviled Bill Cosby. This was a man who really knows the power of imagery and he carefully monitored that. Cosby grew increasingly unhappy with Lisa, and it only got worse when rumors of Lenny and Lisa's wedding started circling. I don't know what Bill said, it, but someone close to him said, it. Lisa, don't get married, don't have a baby. But Lisa didn't listen. Lisa's husband, Lenny Kravitz, writes in his memoir. From then on, the relationship with Bill was tense and ultimately Untenable. Cosby tried to keep Lisa under his watchful eye, but by early 1991, it was clear that something major had happened between them. The first day at the table read-through, Lisa was there, and the next day she was not there. We had a new script, and then he told me Lisa will not be back. She's not coming back the rest of this season. She wow. won't be back next season. But in fact, she didn't come back at all. Although we don't know why she left, what we do know is that it wasn't the only heartbreak Lisa was going through. Just a few weeks earlier, her... That's why during that, I think, uh, I can't remember what season it was. I think it was either six. When it was just um, Olivia and the daddy. That was the only ones that they really was showing out of them three as a family. That's why she wasn't really there. I always wonder what, where she was. But, you know, I was a kid, so I wasn't really thinking that deep into it with Lenny had fallen apart. They were really young and they were under a microscope. They had tremendous pressures on them that, that I wouldn't wish on anybody's relationship. Many people at the time speculated that Lisa's difficult behavior had finally pushed Cosby over the edge. And when the Cosby cast and crew reunited for a documentary, there was one clear message. Lisa was the problem. Lisa Bonet frustrated her television father. This is who I am. I am a sexualized being. I'm not going to be America's princess i'm gonna be the topless funky you know hippie chick she should be happy that's what we didn't see we didn't see you know anybody you know so thrilled and happy to to have it it seemed more like somebody was in, you know i mean you get this kind of offer every day while the other cosby kids were praised malcolm jamal warner quickly became the apple of bill cosby's eye malcolm was my favorite Cosby had convinced the world that Lisa was rebellious and unprofessional. Lisa was now a newly unemployed single mom in her early 20s, and for the next couple of years, she was rarely seen in the public eye. What have you been doing? You've been missing. <laughs> um, I've been, I don't know, getting my life together. Do you and the baby hang out with Mr. Kravitz and spend time together, the three of you, every now and then? <laughs> Stop using a VSL funnel and instead use a simple automated webinar bills. without a pitch and oh, without a complicated sales saying. funnel. So Do you see all your friends from the Cosby show still? I haven't really seen anyone in a long time. Lisa couldn't control what happened on the Cosby show or in her divorce, but she was determined to raise a strong, independent daughter who would follow in her footsteps. The last two years have been sort of a recovery period, not working, spending time with my kid. Just have gone through lots of changes, appreciating being a mother. I'm Lisa just saying, like, I mean, can nobody get mad at this woman for living her life? I don't care if it's Bill Cosby, you know what I'm saying? If she trying to live a fulfilling life on her own, doing her thing, I mean, her body, her choice. Can't okay, nobody make her do nothing, and that's what it is, so, hey. 
relationship with Zoe was far from the relationship Cosby had with his daughter. Zoe stated, she always tells me I saved her life. She was so young and really private. For 23 years, Lisa had the distance from Cosby that she wanted until fall from grace of a living American legend 50 years in the making. Bill Cosby's alleged questionable behavior had gone largely unnoticed for decades. Multiple allegations of rape. Mr. Cosby wanted me to come down for an audition. I'm going to offer you a part on The Cosby Show. He had been mentoring me and grooming me. So he asked me, he says, before we go out to dinner, would you like a cocktail? Bro, ain't no, like, they must have had, like, a large meeting. I'm not, man, I got all, I got all daughters, so can't nobody say nothing. I ain't biased on it. I'm just feeling like ain't no way you are gonna wait. How long was it? 30, even 30, 40 years. I see if it was ongoing and you was already in the process and you were still trying to get everything situated. But like you wait in 30, 40 years to tell somebody about a crime that you already knew that was committed. Like, I don't understand that. Like, why not say something the moment it happens? That's where I'm at with that. Come on now. Took one sip. I began to feel very, very, very drugged. It was very powerful. It came on very quickly. And very shortly after that, I passed out. He spent over 50 years manipulating and abusing women who looked up to him. And when he was asked about it, Cosby tried to cover it up. I, I just wanted to ask if you wanted to respond at all about whether any of that was true. There's no response. We don't, I don't talk about it. Can I get something from you? What's that? That none of that will be shown. Many former Cosby Show cast members came forward to defend him. Malcolm Jamal Warner, who played his son, said, The Bill Cosby I know has been great to me and great for a lot of people. Cosby's accusations reignited the conversation around Lisa and Cosby's relationship. But Lisa stayed silent and it didn't go unnoticed. The curious silence of Cosby's TV daughters. But one person did come forward on behalf of Lisa, her daughter, Zoe. When she was asked if her mom had talked to her about the allegations against Cosby, Zoe said she really hasn't, even to me. She's just as disgusted and concerned as everyone else is. Zoe also confirmed her mom's discomfort around Cosby. Whether he was attracted to her or he resented her having a mind of her own, she always got a weird vibe from him. For the next couple of years, Lisa still didn't say anything focusing on her family and maintaining her privacy until... Lisa Bonet has opened up for the first time about the sexual assault allegations leveled against her former TV father, Bill Cosby. There was no knowledge on my part about his specific actions, but there was just energy. That type of sinister shadow energy cannot be concealed. And she was right, because just a few months later... Bill Cosby guilty today of three counts of aggravated indecent assault. The 80-year-old disgraced TV legend has been sentenced to three to 10 years in prison. After years of lies and hiding, Cosby's true nature had finally been revealed. Cosby wronged countless women over the years, but they found their voices and continue to fight for justice. And as for the rebel girl who once tested America's favorite dad. I definitely agree with, like I said, like coming out with whatever the issue is, but don't wait. 50 years come on now y'all get it over with from the beginning because you are you got you got people thinking one specific way i mean everybody act a certain way outside of the business but you thinking you making people think that everything was good with this person when they potentially did something wrong and you not saying nothing and now you got people like me feeling like damn i don't see nothing wrong with the guy but then, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody got their story, so. When her co-stars reunited once again, they all agreed on one thing. Lisa Bonet is disrespected. I was sad when she was written out or, you know, taken away. She was the rock, she was the light, she was the reason that the whole thing was created. Despite facing challenges she in was. her career and personal life, she's become an inspiration to many. She has always remained true to herself, stating, if I had anything more to reveal, it would have happened a long time ago. That's my nature. The truth will set you free. Look, I appreciate 
police are coming out and saying whatever she had to say about this. Don't nobody, I mean, nobody want this to happen to them. But it happens. That's the sad part about it. It happens. What we can do as law-abiding citizens and adults make sure that things like this people are aware of. You have to nip it in the bud in the beginning. You can't let it fester and fester and fester and then you don't know what to do. The person who who is happening to, they don't know what to do. It's just like we got to figure a, a level ground so that we could basically get it in front of everybody's faces so we can have form our opinions and see the truth. That's all I got to say on now. If y'all want more videos like this, more reactions like this, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see me, you know, do another video, whatever kind of video, let me know in the comments and we'll get it done. See y'all in the next one. Thank you.